Hello everybody and welcome to another Transformers third party review. In today's video we're taking a look at a slightly ahead of schedule pre-production sample from Fans Hobbies. This is their MB06A. This is a test shot sample for review and it is of course their interpretation of the black Nucleon Quest Optimus Prime or Nucleon Quest Jinrai. Uh, but, of course, uh, people also call this Scourge or Nemesis Convoy or whatever they want to call it, Nemesis Jinrai. Uh, the box is the basic box for the MB-06. I haven't finalised the packaging yet, so uh, ignore everything you see here, except, of course, the ways and means to contact Fans Hobby. Like all Fans Hobby products, it comes stowed in a plastic clamshell, and we have a baggie here with his Power Master or God Master and his two cannons now sporting the black and purple deco. And here we have him out of his plastic prison. Uh, let's take a look at these guns first. Love how they look, love that kind of purple application there. Exactly the same as what we got with the other power baser and his can. Just to tab in up on the top of the trailer. We also get a set of translucent blue eyes. And then we have his little power master. I love the fact that we've got space for an insignia there. And I will just get him transformed up and we can take a look at him as a whole before I put him on the front. Wonderful looking little dude. Great head sculpt, loads of articulation as well, ball jointed shoulders, bends at the elbow, the head uh, does have some rotation, although it's a little bit hindered by that backpack section. Uh, we have legs that can come this far forward, so they can come out to the back, they can rotate and come out to the side, we get a bend on that knee so for a little tiny guy he's got a lot of punch going for him i just need to straighten off those arms bend those legs round the arms slide into the rear of the legs and then there's a tab on the shoulder we can just do that and lock that back into place and then this can form the engine block on our prime if you see fit and then that's just going to tab in and tab in. One and two. And there we go. There we have it all tabbed in. I absolutely adore this red that they used for the rear of those windows. Uh, silver trim really pops now that they've put this in that black deco and we have some chromed out smokestacks as well the wheels are uh, rubber-ish uh, they're a hard plastic but definitely with a some form of rubber compound there we get a nice reflective shine to that front bumper really loving the purple that flows throughout the trailer really refreshing in essence yes it is just a repaint but this is a very welcome addition to anyone's collection i know there are a lot of people out there that collect the nemesis kind of version of figures with the likes of mmc doing their Predaking. we've got tfc doing their piranacon the option is there to make this guy a nemesis or a decepticon if this is your first time viewing the mold, here he is alongside the uh, Shattered Glass MP10. Of course, Shattered Glass MP10 sporting the additional trailer hitch, which allows him to carry the Fans Hobbies Scourge trailer. And of course, using the appropriate adapter that was included with the trailer, we can pop that on the back of there. And that in itself looks absolutely awesome and this is covered in dust i really need to dust more let's just take a closer look at the vehicle mode now we do still have some branding on the side there uh, people were moaning uh, about them putting their stamps on with the names 
of their characters. People were saying, oh, we have to replace it with our own stickers. Uh, so they've done it here now. I believe that's kind of Cybertronian text on the side. So that's one way of appealing to multiple audiences. But yeah, love these. These are a big, chunky truck, pretty much the same kind of dimensions as the MP10, only far more compact and made of that really nice, robust plastic that fans hobby are renowned for. Now, to get him transformed up into his bot mode, come to the side, flip and untab this piece. It's on a rocking hinge. You want to rock that back and just push and tab that into position. We have this tab on the toe. Again, just bring that up which allows the toes to move. And there's a sliding hinge just on these wheels. If you just push those up, we can separate the legs and we can bring those down, untabbing them from the arms. We have these tabs, which can now fold in and fill out the legs. The toes can then be brought down. There's a flap on the back here, this pulls down, which now allows us to extend those legs, bringing that back up, locks the legs into position. You can then open up the base and bring out the heel spur section of the foot, and pushing and closing that back off. Right, this flap here is just tabbed in to each other, so one lifts up, which then frees up both. This will then come round. We can then unlock that forearm and rotate it around. We have the hidden hands, which can be brought outwards and rotated and then closed back off. Now, before we tab these arms in, there is a slot just here for the wing mirrors and the shoulders. We want to just bring this front piece down. That then allows us to lift the head upwards and just rotate it out of the way for now. We can then push the grill from the underside, which loosens it up because at the moment it's quite stiff. And we bring this back up, push that in. See the grill has now come down. We can then bring the arms back in and tab those into position. The wheels then push and collapse into place and then this is going to collapse that's going to come down and finish it off we just need to slide the crotch forwards and that means we can now just bring out this piece for the front of the crotch and then we can just push and slide that crotch forwards make sure that that's fully collapsed and that these are locked in there we go, there we have Prime or Ginrai all fully transformed up. Some may say these guns are slightly overkill. Yeah, I say uh, no. <laughs> now these large guns, I believe are designed for the fully combined mode. Uh, this handle, however, does, however, still fit in his hand. Uh, personally, I think they're maybe just a little bit overkill but we do get the option to just disengage this piece, bring the handle down and slide this piece out. So we have a much kind of smaller blaster. Uh, this is usually used in the base mode, but I, I kind of like how it looks. I like having a small kind of blaster. It's easier to pose in with these. Really love how he looks transformed up. The purpley blue on the chest again is extremely vibrant and this isn't even the final production uh, i got this kind of clouded chrome on those thighs the head sculpt is gorgeous absolutely love that they've nailed that and i do love the kind of teal eyes that they've got going on definitely prefer these smaller weapons articulation is pretty darn good the head can look up that far down that far we can go left and we can go right and we can tilt quizzically side to side and we can do a full 360 degree turn we do have an abdominal crunch forwards and backwards 
You have hip skirts to the front, which allow for legs to go this far forwards, this far back, out to the side, upper thigh rotation, a 90 degree bend on the knee, feet can go up and down on a very strong ratchet, and we can tilt side to side, as well as the heels and toes independently moving. The arms can come all the way around, come out to the side on a friction joint. There's an upper bicep rotation, double jointed bend on the elbow, and we have rotation on the wrists and pinned fingers, trigger finger being separated from the remaining three. For a quick scale comparison, here he is alongside the MP10 and the fan's hobby interpretation of Scourge. See, he's a good size figure, even as a standalone. Can't emphasize enough how amazing this looks in hand. Even though this video is in 4K, I still don't think it manages to capture just how nice this figure looks. Uh, what sort of Ginrai would he be without his battle station? Uh, first port of action, you want to untab these pieces here. And basically we want to kind of pull this section just apart and that untabs this piece and this piece from here. We're gonna basically fold the legs down. Uh, I've never been a fan of the base mode, but I know there are a few people out there that definitely want to see it. So for those, I will cover it nonetheless. Uh, this piece can fold down and slide downwards like so, and then can compress backwards, just covering off. Now we will fold this back down in a second. Uh, just I find it easier to move it all out of the way, just so we can move these where they need to go, right? You want to rotate the legs, this section comes up over the wheels, and that's just gonna act as a guard. We have this piece here, that's tabbed in. <laughs> Brian's head is wibbly wobbly all over there, it should be tabbed in. Uh, but yep, yeah, just untab these pieces from the side. Bring this piece all the way up and to the back. The head can now come up, and it's actually on a sliding mechanism. So we want to slide that all the way up to the top. This piece then wants to come up, which now frees up those arms so they can come upwards like so. And then down. This piece here bends up and up like so. This is then gonna come upwards and that is going to tab and secure that into position. Again, this side, this is gonna come up, tab, and secure. Right now we can come back down to, to these legs. Basically you want to extend this up, like so, and then this is gonna fold up and around on to the outside of the leg. This then comes down, comes out, rotates, and this hinge is gonna go all the way down like so, and then we can collapse this piece like so. The arm comes in, this then comes down, rotates around and tabs in. As you can see from the back here, the head has folded down. Bring in these cannons, bring this down. This little bit on the end twizzles around and there is a tab just on the back here. This then tabs in on there. That is pretty much our base mode, we can bring in these guns and they tab in on top if you see fit, but that is in essence everything that we need. We can bring in our Power Master as well. He can transform up into bot mode and weaponize these cannons. They can, of course, pivot left and right. This one can go up and down. So yeah, that's basically his base mode, not a huge fan of that. Uh, I just don't like the base modes in general. It's nothing against the fans hobbies version. It's just, I do not like having him in base mode. It just makes no physical sense to me. Uh, yes, okay, at least their trailer isn't disappearing off somewhere like Primes does, but at the same time, do we really need a weaponized trailer. I mean, just go straight from your bot mode to your Super Jinrai mode or Ginrai mode or Power Master Prime mode. 
and he kicks some Decepticon ass. Right, from the base mode, it is pretty straightforward to get him transformed up into his Super Jinrai mode. Uh, you want to bring these legs down. I wonder how many different variations of Jinrai, Jinrai, Power Master Prime I said in this video. <laughs> oh, call it what you want, but it is awesome. Uh, this just untabs from the back here. This can then be brought down away from the foot. Slide this forwards so the toes are now right at the front. And there we go, there we have that heel spur section out. These pieces here fold around and down and backwards on themselves, getting them nicely out of the way. And then these pieces tab off, cleaning up the side of the feet. Now these tire pieces here, this is gonna come down and rotate all the way around and then come back around the tires, just cleaning those off. And then this whole piece here is going to compress and that just slides in to that leg piece, just tidying that up. We can now bring down those arms, bring these out and flip out the hand piece. And if you look here, you'll notice that we actually have new fully articulated hands. That's something that was missing from the original version of this and uh, vastly improved in my opinion. Remove those guns and this is going to tab all the way back down and just slot in. Now we need to get the Jinrai transformed up. Our first port of action is to fold away those heel spurs and get those out of the way. The legs are then going to bend at the knee like so and we can bring those in and they're just going to tab together. You want to fully extend that torso piece. This is then going to drop back inside. Untab, untab and unfold, which allows the head to then duck back in there. This then lifts up and comes up and over and hides that away. Fold the hands back into the arms. Lift this piece up, lift this piece up, fold these back, bend this arm up, and that's gonna tab back into itself, like so. And then bring this piece down and bring this one down on top, locking that into place. We then want to tuck these back in on both sides, like so. Keeping the wheels where they are, making sure that this hinge is bent here so that these are level with the front of the wheels. We can straighten off these legs and with these all tabbed in and locked together, this is gonna come upwards. And then bring this down and this should, he says, line up and tab on top like so. So that's all closed off and we should have this gap underneath here so you can see this peg. So you've got this right angle coming from underneath the wheels. You've got these legs coming out the back. They tab in at two points and you've got these feet just roaming free at the top there. Come around to the torso. The head is going to come up and out of the way. And basically we're gonna slide the torso down. There's this tab on the crotch, which is gonna tab and lock in on here. These will then close off around it. So first things first, we want to just untab these back panels. It just makes life a thousand times easier, in my opinion. Come on, he says. <laughs> Fail! <laughs> We go and bring this down that way we can see what we're doing so we want to bring the torso down and there we go 
that is going to come in and just sits into that slot nicely. We can then bring this piece back up. And as we bring that up, that's going to come up, over, through those toes. This is going to come down and that's going to tab in onto the top like so and then bring that head around. These are going to push down. The toe flaps come up, these come down and these can push onto the back locking into place and then we can close this cab unit off making sure everything is where it should be like so make sure you rotate this piece back around and we can pop the guns on his arms and here we have him fully transformed up into his super mode and i love it he is a big chunky monkey uh, reminds me of myself but he looks very dashing indeed yes he has a backpack but that is all part and parcel of the power master prime gimmick in my opinion uh, i may have made a bit of a hash of the transformation i'm sure that they'll state everything very clearly in the instructions they always do but i love how this looks the contrast of the purples the golds the red and the silvers it's a gorgeous piece i think i actually prefer this to the regular version but it's a tough one you know both are beautiful figures in their own right <laughs> For a quick size comparison, here they are with the MP10 mold and of course their Scourge. And for those curious, yes, the sword does fit in his hand. It fits in there nice and snug. If this is your first time visiting this mold, let's have a quick demonstration of the articulation. We can go left and right, we can tilt side to side, we can look up that much, not really down though. The arms can come all the way around on a lovely ratchet up to the side upper bicep rotation, we get that double jointed bend on the elbow, basically the same articulation as what we had as a little bot, but in big mode, we have those fully articulated hands, which are extremely welcome. They're kind of trialing them with this model. Uh, we should be getting an alternative head as well, based on the G1 Marvel comics, as well as kind of the big fat head, very similar to what Printformers did. Uh, coming down to the waist, it does rotate still, just underneath that crotch piece. We can actually still hinge forwards as well. So we do have an abdominal crunch in there, albeit very difficult positioning, but it does help with the transformation and his posability. We can bring the crotch flaps back round to the front, allowing for legs to go this far forwards, all the way back this far out to the side until they get some clearance issues. We do get a bend on that knee and coming down to the feet, we can go up and down and we can tilt side to side. And of course we do have the independent movement on the toes and on the heel spurs. And he is a very well balanced figure as well. I'm not very creative with my posing, but I'm sure somebody like Sixo or maybe Maz could get this guy into a truly amazing pose. It's a fun figure and he looks incredible on display. He is a real eye turner. And as I previously mentioned, I think this is actually my favorite version of the mold. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Fans Hobbies Black Power Baser aka Nucleon Quest Optimus Prime or Power Master Prime. Absolutely gorgeous figure, highly recommended, up for pre-order now. Thank you all for watching, hope you found this video useful. If you have, feel free to give a big thumbs up, share and of course subscribe. I've included a fans hobby playlist on the side here and until next time for myself and Nucleon Quest Optimus Prime, ah, goodbye.